welcome to another episode of Asia Unscripted. Welcome to day two of the quarantine, June 2nd, 2020. And I am inside the mall. This is Ayala Mall Central Block. It actually reopened yesterday, but yesterday I could count on two hands how many stores were actually open. Today it looks a little bit better. We'll take a walk around, but I want to warn you, I'm not using my gimbal because technically I'm not supposed to be filming in the mall. So it may seem a little shaky, um, but it is what it is. I wanted to give you guys a, a picture of what's open and what's not. Um, but before I start walking, um, yeah, yesterday we uh, downgraded to a general community quarantine. Public transportation was supposed to restart, but there was no taxis or jeepneys on the road. They have to be certified. Um, well, let's walk. There's a lot of noise. Um, yeah, they have to be certified. The taxis have to go cashless. Um, so that'll take some time to set up the taxis that way. As you can see, some of the, this is the electronic section of the mall. Some of the places are still shut down. They're still closed. Um, but <laughs> it's a lot better than yesterday. Uh, the food court directly up ahead, food choices, is pretty much still shut down. I don't know how you can have a food court if you can't dine in. Part of the whole food court experience is to is to dine in, sit down and eat. Um, I don't think that would just do very well for uh, uh, takeout. This is my uh, banh mi place, the Vietnamese sandwich, but they're not closed yet. Or not open yet. <laughs> Octagon. It's open in the other Ayala, but here it's not open yet. So it's hit or miss. It's, like I said, it's a lot better than it was yesterday. But that's not saying a lot. That furniture store, Asian Home, is open back there. I'm not going to show you the whole mall, but. Just to give you guys a, a little bit of a view. Oh yeah, they got these markers on the floor. Mind your distance. And they got arrows showing the way you should be going. Yesterday I would have said there was 10% of the stores open, if even that. Maybe today it's a little bit more, 20 or 25%. Cinemas are not gonna reopen at this stage. The arcades aren't gonna reopen at this stage. The salon, beauty salons and barbers are not gonna open right now. I think they're set to open on the 7th of June. A nice day outside. I'll tell you what, it's a lot more pleasant to do one of these videos in an air-conditioned mall. Uh, speaking of that, they don't want people loitering in the mall like I'm doing right now. Um, they, as part of the general community quarantine, malls are not allowed to have wi free Wi-Fi. And the air conditioning must be set at 26 degrees Celsius. Again, because they don't want people hanging out. Um, so, I mean, that makes sense. You're supposed to, at this stage, you're supposed to come to the mall, get your essentials, and head home. And I am going to go do a little shopping when I'm done with this video. The Apple store is open, and I want to see about buying a pair of AirPods. So as you can see, not much is open, but I think it will take a few days 
As far as restaurants go, they got to restock, obviously. Um, they had to dump all their food two months ago. Well, at least I hope they dumped their food. <laughs> um, some of the other stores, you know, all they have to do is unlock their doors and maybe do a little dusting and then that's it. Yeah, this Korean barbecue is not going to open up anytime soon. It is not a good takeout concept. Every time I see this place, I think it's Orange Julius. But it's Orange Brutus, and they don't even serve anything with oranges. Tea shop is open. This restaurant's still closed. It appears they have more open at the other Ayala, the main Ayala in Cebu. Um, if you look at uh, Rike's channel, Life Beyond the Sea, he did a video at the other Ayala yesterday, and it appears more was open at that point, which is interesting. Um, yeah, so we'll go down, check out one more level, and then we'll call it a video. Oh, airlines, they got approval to start up domestic flights today, but they can only start up the domestic flights if the mayors or the governor of the area approves flights. If they don't approve the flights, then they can't go. Some areas of the Philippines, they don't want people from Cebu coming. <laughs> they don't want people from Manila coming because... This is where most of the cases are. So those areas that only have you know, a few cases, they're not gonna want anyone from Cebu. It's not happening. So, but I expect flights to start between Cebu and Manila, which will be a big boost. There's a lot of people stuck in Manila right now. This Japan Home Center, it's kind of like a Philippines version of a dollar store. I'm glad to see it open. As you can see, the cashiers are protected by plastic. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm glad to see that they're open at least. Uh, it's been really, really difficult for the last two months to buy anything besides food items. This section here, that corridor of the mall, that's all your salons, your massage shops, your nail shops. They're not reopening anytime soon. But that'll be a closed off section for a while. Yeah, so it'll be nice to have some flights start up no words on the ferries yet we don't know if the ferries are going to start up or not but i imagine it's the same issue um, these islands that have no cases or very few cases are not going to want a whole bunch of people coming over from cebu <laughs> that's not happening anytime soon but hopefully in july and august more and more things will open up so there's Watson's. This is kind of like your your uh, Philippines version of Walgreens or CVS. Very nice. This is a shoe store and it's usually open. So it's really, we can say it's really hit or miss what's open and what's not. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a a look on uh, the slow reopening of our malls. Um, that down there is a ride. They call it a 9D ride, whatever that means. <laughs> There's a bookstore down there, the Starbucks Reserve. So anyways, I'm gonna end things here. Um, so I really appreciate my subscribers. There's almost 1,300 of you now. You guys are awesome. Um, even if you don't subscribe and you're just looking at this, you're awesome too. Please subscribe. 
there's a little logo of mine at the bottom right hand corner you can click on that and subscribe to my channel um oh by the way i'm not gonna be able to get away from it park much apparently uh we still need our quarantine passes and my quarantine pass only allows me to uh stay in this neighborhood in this barangay so i'm gonna be walking around here for at least two weeks more but i have some uh possible solutions to that so we'll, we'll see what i can do maybe later in the week or next week anyways for asia unscripted this is jason and be safe and i will see you guys next time